Hi everyone, and welcome to the first episode in our new series, Biotech Tips, brought to you by Edvitech. Today we'll be looking at one of the most common tools in the lab environment, the pipette. These tools can be found throughout a variety of different environments, whether that be a lab, a classroom, or even a kitchen. Wherever they may be found, however, they all follow the same basic design and function, to draw up a volume of liquid by creating a partial vacuum, and then transferring that liquid into another vessel. Now, depending on their specific use, these can look drastically different. However, they all operate utilizing the same basic mechanics. A basic pipette consists of a conical tube with a bulb on the end. Simply take the tip, dip it into the liquid, release the bulb, and the liquid will be drawn into the tube. To move the liquid, simply take it, squeeze the bulb again, and it'll be dispensed. Simple. Now, a micro pipette is similar in almost every regard. The only difference being that bowl has now been replaced with a plunger. The other major difference is accuracy. On a lab micro pipette, you'll notice a dial on top and a numerical readout on the front. Why is this important? Well, this allows you to specifically dial in the exact volume that you wish to move. This doesn't mean that one is good for everything though. This means that each one is going to be specialized. This one in particular can only go up to 1,000 microliters, while this one can go from 1,000 to 5,000. So, how do we use these? Simply, take your micro pipette and apply its favorite accessory, the tip. While holding it like this, with your index finger underneath the ergonomic grip, your thumb on the plunger, and your hand firmly around the stock, take the pipette and gently dip it in. You'll notice the tips come out fairly easily. Don't push down too hard or else you might break the end. Now, when you're using one, simply take the liquid you wish to transfer and take your pipette. Push down on the pipette until you get the first stop. Take the tip and dip it into the liquid and release. You'll notice the liquid is immediately drawn. Now dispensing. This is different. Same method, push down, and when you hit that first stop, push beyond it. This is because sometimes a small volume of liquid can get stuck in the tip. This is important because sometimes even a small volume can have a major impact on your research or whatever you might be working on. Thank you very much for joining us. And if you enjoyed it, please feel free to subscribe to our channel. And thank you very much for your time. We look forward to spending more time with you and putting out some interesting things in the future.